more snow coming, even with some city streets still covered from Saturday. Despite promises from city officials that all roads would be cleared within 36 hours of the last snowflake. Only on four, our Marcy Cipriani found a woman forced to walk her street with a cane because it's not safe for a car. I'm walking here along Ridgeway Street in Polish Hill. As you can tell, this street is mostly clear. But as we walk along, street after street that intersects is not. Example number one, Monroe Street. Number two, Balboa Street. Number three, Harding Way at Ajax Street. In fact, one couple tells me they have been fighting over this street for years, and it has become so bad it's nearly debilitating. I don't want to fall. For 71 year old Mary Kristopolsky, I had knee surgery. Just getting to her home can be a challenge. The dangerous walk she takes up the middle of this snow-covered city street is one she and her husband tell me they have been battling for five years. This is to the, uh, the mayor. This is the third register letter that I sent you. Bill Kristopolsky has sent so many letters asking for help. So this goes on and on. He now has a file. <laughs> To show what we found out for ourselves, the hills in his neighborhood hours after the snow. He's been here 50 years. This is this is unbelievable. Are tough to tackle. It's a piece of ice. And for the Kristopolskis, the mess is not only a nuisance; it's a hardship. Mary has a designated handicap parking spot feet from her front door. You're talking 40, 50 feet up the hill. That she just can't get to. So for now, they say they'll keep fighting. Just keep going. That's all. And struggling to get through. We have to do it. You can't drive up. The director of Pittsburgh Public Works admits it's very difficult to get to some of these smaller, narrow roads. But when we told him about Ajax, he told me that he is going to get a smaller pickup truck to take care of this road for this couple. If you have any issues with your roads, he's asking you call 311. In Polish Hill, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.